Well, Jimmy, it's very important information, especially as we dive into the summer months. You know, there are so many events where people really rely on their cell phone to capture all the fun, you know, you know taking pictures. And you want to make sure you have plenty of battery juice. One of those events is the second annual Brewgrass Festival, and I am so happy now to be joined by Sarah Pletcher, the event organizer, and Megan Williams, the co-founder of Miss Pillion River Brewing. Ladies, thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thank you for having us. All right, Sarah, Brewgrass, clever name. I'm guessing it involves bluegrass music and some brews. It certainly does, Sean. Uh, we have four bluegrass bands coming and four acoustic sets. Ken and Brad Colander are our father-son duo coming from Baltimore. They're our headliners. And then we have 10 breweries coming from the Maryland Eastern Shore, as well as Delaware. And of course, Miss Pillion will be there. Uh, they are our presenting sponsor and based in Milford. All right, so this is your second year. Usually when things make it to the second year, that means the first year was very successful. Yes, and last year was. We uh, sold over 500 tickets, uh, but with all of the vendors and uh, bands and volunteers in the park, we had over 850 people wow. there. Wow, yeah. for the first year. For the first That's year. That's impressive. So what can people expect this year? Well, along with the bands and breweries, uh, this year we're bringing back our Brushes and Booze event with the Miss Pillion Art League. Uh, this painting here is an exclusive to the Brewgrass Festival, so attendees can sign up and uh, paint that day. Uh, as well as uh, this year we're actually going to be intermixing the breweries with the craft vendors and the food. So we're encouraging people to pick up a program from the Chronicle, the Milford Chronicle. Uh, and that includes a pro or a festival map. Uh, and now you mentioned artwork, and your shirts have some artwork on the back. Yes. Right? You just got these printed like yesterday. Yes, they Look, do. It's, it's a, a guitar filled with beer. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? And somebody, local artist did that? Yes, uh, Rosemary Connolly. She is a local artist wow. with Live Cheap and Make Art awesome. Studios. All right, so we're talking brewgrass, we're talking brews, so we uh, we got to taste them, I think, yes. right? I mean, yes. logically, <laughs> that makes sense. So yes. you brought three different types of beers from Miss Billion River for I us did. to try. Yes, fortunately I've got a variety here for us today. Um, I brought in this growler right here our Rise or Shine Coffee Stout. Okay. Um, I also brought probably our most popular beer which is our Reach Around IPA. Alrighty. And I've got one of our newest ones which is a double IPA called Not Today Satan. Well I'm, in, I'm excited to start trying. Where should mm -hmm. we start? I know there's a, a very particular order <laughs> yes, you gotta try yes, beer yes. in. Yes, yes, you are well informed on that. And <laughs> the reason is for the is because of the hop profile on the beer. It tends to stick to the palate more when you have a hop your beer. So we're for that reason we're gonna start with the Riser Shine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stout. You're pouring full glasses <laughs> over here. I still gotta work a little yeah. bit. Would you like to join sure, us? Sure, I okay. will try. So this one. Ah. I knew it. I knew I was not finishing these beers. I can't take it. We got an extra glass. We got extra glass. We got four glasses. So we got you. You know, I'm happy to join us. I love my craft beer. There you go. This is a stout. This is our our coffee stout. And you can taste the coffee, but it's not like overpowering. You know, sometimes when you have these coffee stouts, it's like I feel like I just drank a cup of coffee in yeah. the morning, yeah, but that's, that's not really the case. Good. We actually, we brew this with Amity Coffee Grounds, which is a new um, beanery located in Greenwood, just south of us. And a oh, lot cool. of our beers, we incorporate a lot of local businesses um, whenever we possibly can. Try to be as creative as we can mm -hmm. about it. We've got a fun crew there at the brewery. And this one, actually, Amity came to us. They've just opened in the last year, and they said, hey, would you try our beans? And course we were related to and it Very turned good. into this lovely coffee stout we also do cold brew coffee there at the brewery yes, so if you want something non-alcoholic to drink you can drink that and well, that's cold nice brew, of you guys it's cold, <laughs> cold brew is like the big it's thing, the big now. thing it now it is it's so smooth and delicious i honestly was never a big mm -hmm. fan of cold coffee mm -hmm. um until we brewed with this and tried it and it just um well as we delicious. try these yes. i want to talk about this event a little longer so who benefits from this so all of the proceeds from uh, the Brewgrass Festival benefit Downtown Milford, Inc., which is a nonprofit that um, promotes the historic district of Downtown Milford. And last year we raised over $14,000, wow. uh, which can be seen throughout the community now. We have a, a multicultural mural, as well as uh, new events like the International Food Festival and other events that happen downtown. Yeah, we had the artists from the mural yes. here on the show yes. a couple what weeks ago. Um, I think we can go to the reach around I'm next. Try the reach around. <laughs> I chugged it. I chugged it. I chugged it. Ambitious. I got, on that. Yeah. got more show to go. I don't Sorry. know if that's a good oh. idea. Look, we haven't even had one, <laughs> one full tasting. We're already knocking over the arc. Like, I 
I'm going to try I'm this gonna, like, one. I'm going to finish this. Finish this. I'm gonna Thanks, I appreciate it. Yeah, I don't want to stumble out of here. Um, while I try this one, let us know the when and where. So Sunday, June 12th, uh, from 1 to 6 p.m. in Bicentennial and Memorial Parks in Milford. And uh, tickets can be found on sale at beerfest.com. If you search Milford, Delaware, we're the only festival that comes up. Tickets are $30 for general admission, $5 for a designated driver. And if you buy ahead of time, you save $10 on awesome. the door. Delicious event, a great event for a great cause, ladies. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank Jimmy, you. Lisa, cheers. cheers. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't think it would be a good idea for me to that finish would have been off an the interesting beer show, and try it? another one. <laughs> <laughs>